Aries, you need to know this right now for August the 7th through August the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 7th through August the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 7th through August the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 7th through August the 8th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Sag. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with someone, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse for defense here. Now, Aries, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning because you're needing to heal individually on your own. You can tell me that you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense because you're wanting to heal things with this person. But you could also be a little defensive here and standing up for yourself because there could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Maybe, you know... Um, telling someone they need to be patient here. Aries, you have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups, now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so could be dealing with the parent of your child. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Tower. 
The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So Aries, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that <clears throat> you're shocked, even though you still have a great deal of feelings for this person, they want to reunite with you, yes? Aries, you can tell me that there's been a shocking revelation here, that someone from their past is in the picture, okay? And you're trying to master your emotions concerning it, maybe keeping your distance from this person needing to heal individually on your own. Aries, I hope there's not a shocking surprise concerning children here. Okay, could also be that something from the past is being brought back up here that caused some type of shocking surprise or a breakup. Aries, you have the nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aries, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries, the fool. The fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the fool for Aries. Clarify the fool for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the fool for Aries. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're stressed and worried because everything between you guys has changed. That someone took a risk or a chance here and it caused some type of argument, maybe some type of argument here. But Aries, you could also tell me that you're conflicted within about something. Now, you could be conflicted within about this change and just starting something new because you guys may have broken up. Or you're conflicted within about changing things and just taking this leap of faith with this person and working things out and maybe having to set some type of boundaries here. It could be shocked that they want to reunite with you. Aries, you have the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, Aries, someone could be apologizing here to you, but it seems like you're not opening up. You have this boundary up, Aries. I want to know, Aries, did something happen with your luck and fortune? Did you actually... Get something here and you're being stingy with it. You aren't willing to compromise here. Aries, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship. <clears throat> Disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played here. Clarify the Five of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Five of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Five of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with temperance again. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you can tell me that, hey, you just need to heal individually on your own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient, Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, very well could be getting your wish here. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. <clears throat> Aries, listen, I feel like you very well could be getting your wish here with some type of maybe financial stability I feel like you're just disappointed that you were unable to compromise and negotiate here because you might want to hold on to your coins and this may be causing an argument. However, Aries, dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, you may be overindulging trying to numb out because you're hurt and you're needing to heal individually on your own. Even though this person is apologizing, you're closed off to it right now. You're shocked that they even want to reunite with you or this was a shocker that someone from their past is in the picture here. You guys are having this argument. So Aries, I'm going to take a look at the twin flame exposed for you guys. I'm going to take two cards. This is how you're thinking, feeling, or a confession. But this could also be how they're thinking, feeling, or a confession. I hurt the one person who had my back and it is killing me inside. 
Hmm. I hurt the one person who had my back. What else? Okay. I'm craving your body. Are you feeling me? Okay. Somebody's craving the other. I'm also going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you guys, Aries. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And this is your card, Aries. Uh -huh. I love you. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for August the 7th through August the 8th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.